Hey everyone, it's Brad. I'm uh, back to make another video blog entry, and I hope you all don't mind this black and white effect. I know it's probably kind of weird, but um, honestly, the only reason I'm doing it is because, for whatever reason, it wouldn't get, it wouldn't pick up my image um, since it's at night outside, uh, unless I put it on black and white. So I think it's kind of cool, and we'll see how it goes. So anyway, um, I realized that the the last video blog entry I wrote about that I posted, I mean, it was um, just about Lansing, and so I, I'm leaving a lot of you without any sort of idea of what's what's happening, I, so I figure this will be just kind of a, a general update about uh, what I've been up to and what's happened since my last one especially, but um, just, yeah, I'm going to tell you a bit about it, so um, yeah, anyway, first of all, I'm on the top of my building, uh, you can see the city in the background, sort of, mountains, I probably can't really see much, but um, it's the roof of my building, so uh, it's a residence I live in. I have a single room here, and um, it's really nice. Everyone in the program's here. Um, I figure, though, I'd, I mean, I won't talk about small stuff like that. <laughs> I, the biggest change that's happened since the last uh, entry I posted has actually been um, that school started and, you know, really started in earnest. I think the last one I, yeah, I recorded during the pre-session, the pre-seminar. Um, but now I'm in regular university courses um, at the University of Barcelona and also the Universidad Pompeu Fabra. Um, so that's changed my life uh, quite a quite a good deal. It's um, the first few weeks were just kind of settling in, and it was still craziness with well, there was all sorts of um, of administrative stuff, matriculation. It was very complicated, very confusing, but. Um, I, it wasn't until like a, a week or two weeks ago that it really started getting stressful, unfortunately, and I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a bit. But anyway, um, I'll just start by telling what classes I'm in. I'm, um, I've got four classes. Uh, one of them is required to be from the program that I'm in, which is CASP, the Consortium for Advanced Studies in Barcelona. And so the one that I'm in for that is called, um, let me think. La Ciudad de la Modernidad, uh, La Barcelona de Gaudí, which is the city in modernity, uh, the Barcelona of Gaudí. And Gaudí, I'm sure most of you know, is like a, probably the most famous guy from Barcelona, um, an architect, a uh, modernist architect, who um, had a lot of influence, a lot of popularity, and um, yeah, you've probably heard of him. So that's kind of just like a history of Barcelona, I guess a sort of cultural history of uh, like orienting especially about like the modernist period and I'm talking about urbanism and stuff like that and it's really cool but it's um at 8 in the morning and <laughs> the readings are kind of uh, out of control so I've been de-emphasizing that one somewhat. Um, my two favorite ones are definitely the ones I'm taking at the UBE, the uh, Universitat de Barcelona um, and those are first Historia de la Lengua Española uh, history of the Spanish language, and that I am loving. That is definitely my favorite. It's um, basically a linguistics class, historical linguistics, and um, talking about the development of Spanish, you know, all the way from vulgar Latin to the present day. Um, and I'm loving that. I'm. It, it's making me think that I should be a linguistics major, and even you know, look into changing my major. So um, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, the other one at the UBE is Teatro Español Contemporáneo which is uh, contemporary Spanish theater, and um, I like that a lot too, it's just um, reading plays, it's not a whole lot of work except for the readings, I'm actually fairly behind already, but uh, that's good. Then um, my last one is uh, lingu uh, Linguistica Computacional, Computational Linguistics, uh, so that's a computer science course that I'm taking at another university, the Universitat Pompeo Fabra. And that's going pretty well, um, although it's kind of stressful, especially because I, I, unlike the UBE, it's, well, at, at least this particular class is not really very uh, international student friendly. <laughs> it's, um, it, well, I missed the first session and then I, um, it, it's just really crazy. The schedule is, uh, differs from day to day and the room numbers differ and um, I didn't figure that out until you know, a couple weeks into it and even figure out how to figure out what room it was going to be in and um, that, so it's, it's been a little bit uh, stressful and hard to catch up but um, I'm definitely happy with the classes I'm in. 
Uh, the trouble is just kind of like balancing school and everything else, you know. Um, I was gonna take some other classes. I was, I the first few weeks I was just spending basically, uh, they call it just shopping for classes, going to classes and see what they're like. So um, I was thinking about taking a biology class. It was like a genetic engineering, um, which would have been cool. And uh, sociología de la sexualidad. Uh, um, gender studies, or, well, sexuality studies, sort of, um, but both of those turned out to not really be right, or just, well, I preferred other things to them, more or less, so, um, and then the other thing is I was gonna take Catalan, but I decided it's really not all that much worth it, um, just because, well, I'll never really use it after here unless I decide to live in Barcelona, and, um, I decided it's, and also it's a lot of time, um, so I just decided I'll, um, just keep picking it up passively, and you know, you really don't have to, I mean, everyone in Catalonia speaks Spanish, they're required to by law, so, um, I mean, it's, uh, I'll continue to help p pick up, uh, you know, understanding Catalan spoken and, and written, but, um, I don't necessarily have to speak it so much, so I decided not to do that, but I'm still really happy about, um, I, th I still think it's really cool to have have Catalan here, and it's definitely a beautiful language and all that. So, um, basically, yeah, a lot's changed since um, since the pro seminar and since you know the first few weeks. I'm definitely feeling a lot more settled in. I guess I've been here for two months now, and um, almost two months, and um, so I'm I'm starting to get comfortable here, which is. I mean, not that I was uncomfortable, but just all of the initial um, figuring out how things work and the um, administrative stuff and the finding classes stuff is is over. So um, I'm feeling more relaxed and uh, sort of related to that. I think is I feel like my fluency is improving a lot in Spanish, and I think it's in large part a confidence thing. I mean, not obviously not exclusively, but. Um, I just feel better about that, and um, another a, a big thing that changed is um, well that impacted my life is I got a uh, ticket, a metro ticket now that'll last me for unlimited travel for, for three months. Whereas before I had, I had just been forced to buy like little you know ten pass, ten rides or thirty rides or whatever. So I feel like I can just kind of get around the city on my own now and um, not have to think about it, not have to worry about it. And, um, you know, I know the metro system pretty well by now. I, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but I, the metro is, is a lot of fun. It's probably, um, it, it was the first thing that I felt like was special about living here just because I really felt like a city dweller for the first time. That's, that's never particularly happened. I mean, Louisville's not like a, well, it doesn't have a metro system or anything, a subway or anything like that. Um, and then Chicago, it's, I'd always sort of been confined to um, Hyde Park, more or less. So that's a lot of fun. Um, and uh, so I'm able to, like, move on to little things like, you know, figuring out how to save money and, like, where to... I can sort of just have more time for uh, settling in and fine-tuning things. So, um, oh, another big thing. I just have one more minute of this video. But um, I started this... Uh, sort of internship, it's a, well, a volunteer thing um, that I'm going to be doing for the whole year at a uh, elementary school. I'm being a uh, English assistant and that's through CASP, um, but it's it's just a lot of fun and um, it's, well, I, I'm just having a great time, you know, I love kids and it's, um, I'm learning a lot about, about Spanish, about Catalan, about teaching and um, it's really cool being, you know, sort of like representative, being the only person in the room, I mean, j um, like the person with the best knowledge of English in the room, even the teacher, which is interesting. All the teachers are, are locals. Um, so, uh, I, um, sometimes I'll be like helping out during the classroom, but most, a lot of times I'm going to be doing sort of like a separate session, like with a s small groups, um, just doing like oral fluency games and stuff like that. So that's, uh, that's a lot of fun. I'm really loving it, and I, I wish I could honestly stay for longer than I could uh, most of the days I have it. It's, it's great. So that's all.